Today I'm going to show you how to make a rose. So let's go ahead and get started. So first you're going to start by making just a little, little, kind of like a little tail to me, like a mermaid tail. And then you're going to make just a little upside down V. And then you're going to go ahead and go ahead and go around and connect that. And you're going to just go up top and make like a little Hershey kiss and then you can do another one like that you're just gonna keep on going around this is gonna this is how you're going to make a rose that kind of looks like it is fully bloomed and full and this is how you make it with pen I choose to use this black ink pen works the best um, and I also should suggest um, to keep it just the way it is when you're finished um, you can color it but I really suggest not to just because it looks so much better with the way it is when it's done Okay, so you can keep on going full out, but I'm just going to stop right here. And then next you're going to start by making the, um, the part of where the stem is going to be. Again, you're just going to make, you know, make a detail and you're going to go down. And straight down like that. And go ahead and make the thorns. And you're more than welcome to pause this um, video um, just so you can do the steps slower. Um, it'd be much easier. So I wouldn't mind that either. So to make the leaves, again, they're simple. There's other way, different kinds you can make leaves just like in a different shape. Um, yeah, leaves are so beautiful in their own way. They have different, um, ways of being, um, yeah. But anyway, so, this is pretty much how you make a rose. Um, there is more to it, but other than that, if you want to make some detail to it, go ahead and make little lines. Just so it looks like those are petals. Um, don't make the lines too long. Because then it will look like you just made leaves. Um, if you want to also go ahead and make some lines. Make that detailed. Um, right here. And then you can make just a couple more lines going like that. So until you feel like it's perfect put it that way then yes then go ahead and make more detail by just adding some texture to the stem and always I suggest always to sign your work when you're complete and date it because who knows you might forget the last time you made it so um, this is how to make a rose. I hope y'all like this video and um, I should, I think I'm just going to start making um, videos like this um, even more because I want to share even more than I am when I am teaching art at my, for my students. Anyway, definitely subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching my video on how to draw a rose. I hope it helps.